Hello, my name is uh, Peter Demian. I'm a co-designer of the Laser Edit Profiler, and this is an instructional video on how to assemble and uh, use it. So, uh, the Laser Edit Profiler uh, comes uh, packaged in two main parts. It's the, the upper part and uh, the lower part, this one. And you can see there are a number of uh, cable connections uh, which uh, I will connect later when the lower part is already installed on the table. First, let's begin by fixing the lower part uh, to, to a table. So, as you can see, the, the mechanism uh, allows for a relatively wide range of uh, table sizes. So, it's, it's wise if it's a glass table like this to, to put some sort of uh, protection. And we can continue to fix it on the table. So, you can see it's easier to do when it's still disassembled as opposed to if it was already uh, fixed together. It's fixed. Now the, the second part is connecting the, the upper part of the profiler. So you see it has, uh, there are uh, points where the screws, screws are attached on either side. So carefully not, not to pinch any of the cables. I slide it in like this. The cables go into the into the grooves on the on the sides. And now I take the, the screws. The other side. I continue to attach all the cables. You see there is uh, USB cables uh, going into in the cameras. They have to be attached. So here, the second one. And the lower camera. There is a... The USB cable is separate. So I attach it first in the camera. And then to the, there is a USB hub on the back side of the profiler. And all the other USB cables, there is only one coming from the bottom side of the USB hub, which then goes into the computer. So that one will be attached to us. Now I attach all the cables from the, this is from the laser projectors and uh, from, uh, from the, the light. If I were using uh, the pedal, there is a pedal which, which comes with the profiler, then I would also attach it now, but for this demonstration I, I won't be using it. All the functions of the pedal are can be also uh, done with the keyboard. So, that's the last USB cable. So, now we can proceed to attach the glass pane will be then used for uh, as, a, as a platform for manipulating the pottery fragments. So first I, I add this uh, plastic fixture to the and align it with the with the holes in the glass pane of course so that it can be screwed on. Relatively tight fit, so you have to be careful. Okay. 
if it goes uh, too hard then it's, it helps to move the plate around a bit so up down left right I will attach there is there is just one one USB cable with which is it is to attach to the computer so I'm gonna connect it now. Ideally it would it would be to use a USB 3.0 cable but it works also with a 2.0 which is the case in this this time. So to, to be able to calibrate the device, uh, we have to first make sure that the laser lines are aligned. There are two laser projectors, one from the top, one from the bottom, and the lines form a plane, uh, which has to be aligned uh, to the cameras. So uh, this is now the, the uh, software to the laser editor profiler opened. I click on the calibration icon. And here you see a set of icons uh, to uh, turn on and off the cameras, the laser lines, and the light. So I uh, first I turn on the both laser lines, and uh, now you see the laser lines. I can, I can use this paper to, to to visualize them. They are a bit uh, misaligned. Uh, that can happen during transport and so on. Uh, so. The first thing is I have to make sure that each each of the laser lines is projected exactly in the middle of the opposite projector. So I check the upper laser projector is, is illuminated by the lower one and we see the line going uh, exactly to the middle, to the center, so that's okay. And But looking at the lower one, we see that the, the line from the upper one is not is mismatched. So I have to. There are four four screws on each side of the of the mounting of the laser projector. I have to loosen them a little. It's not too much. Just so that I can move it. There's, it's very very slight movement is necessary. So it aligns. So now now the laser line is projected directly through the to the middle and I can also rotate the projector slightly to, to align it. But, so now I tighten it, tighten it again. So that's the first step. Now uh, to make sure that the that both lines are aligned with the cameras and with each other, so I, I put a paper here, it's gonna be a, a, any uh, dark uh, matte piece of paper and I turn on the upper camera and we see there's uh, the laser line as, as the camera sees it it's, it's a bit uh, crooked or it's a bit slanted so I can I can use by, by clicking and dragging on the on the image this is the, the crop function but, but I can also use it to to uh, have a like a ruler and I rotate the upper laser projector until the the line is aligned with the you see it's a it's a bit uh, it has a bow but that's normal that's that's the lens uh, distortion which is then corrected by the software so it's supposed to be like that. Now for the lower lower line the same again we see it's it's uh, I can, I can adjust the exposure to see the line better and again I can proceed with aligning it with the monitor, with the camera, should be fine and, and theoretically the lines should be also aligned to each other. I can use the calibration pad to, to check it. So I insert the calibration pad into the, the laser line. So there's there's these first protrusions on which the lines are both projected, and I can check whether whether the lines are matched. Uh, I see they are not in this case. So I have to slightly rotate the projector. Okay. 
So now, now the lines are both aligned, and uh, we can proceed with the calibration. So I, I will leave the calibration pad here. It has to be exactly, or at least exactly enough in the in the center of the of the glass plate, and you can see you can see on the camera image that all the all the protrusions have to be visible. So I can here I can adjust the crop uh, marks a bit.